Caesar dressing is all thanks to one man, Caesar Cardini, who was a restaurateur in the early 1900s, and he owned restaurants both in California and in Mexico. And as rumor has it, he just whipped the dressing up one night for friends, and it became an instant hit. In fact, in 1953, the International Society of Epicures declared it the greatest recipe to originate from the Americas in 50 years. And it is still as popular as ever today, and people use it to dress up all manner of things beyond mere lettuce leaves, including green beans. This dressing is kind of magical. <laughs> it's got so many really big, bold flavors, and yet it manages to heighten the flavor of the green beans instead of masking it. It's a beautiful salad. Um, it starts with the green beans. I'm starting with one and a half pounds of green beans, and I'm just going to trim the rest of them. Okay, um, now are you a two-sided trimmer? Oh, you are. I just trim the one side, because I like the little pointy ends. I have to say, I trim both sides, but it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can just cut off one end, flip them around, neaten up the edges, and then cut off the other. That's and right. I don't have to pick through them. It's pretty great. So let's get these in the bowl and start cooking. All right. I have four quarts of boiling water, and I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of salt. We want to make sure they're seasoned. Mm -hmm. Just going to add these beans. We're going to make sure the water is at a full boil, give it five, maybe seven minutes, and then we'll have a look and make sure they're done. In the meantime, let's get the croutons going. Ooh, one of the, my favorite parts of Caesar salad are the croutons. So here I have three ounces of a really nice baguette. It's been cut up into half inch pieces, and I'm just going to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and season it up with a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I'm not seeing any salt here, and I'm guessing that's because the dressing is gonna be salty enough for everything. You got it. So just a quick stir to make sure they're nicely coated, and let's toast them up. I'm going to use medium-high heat, and it's going to take about five to seven minutes. I just wanna stir them occasionally, but not constantly, to make sure that they have some time to brown. Julia, it's been about seven minutes. Let's have a peek. They look nice and a bright green. I'm just gonna taste this guy. It's, um, it's nice and pliable, which is a good sign. But I heard a little bit of crunch, which yeah. is what you want. You don't want them all the way soft and throw. They're pretty perfect. Let's get these out of the water. Okay, dope. Don't these look great? They do, nice bright green, still steaming hot. Right, now if I had been at the restaurant, I would have dunked these into an ice bath, but I never actually have enough ice for a proper one. So instead, I'm going to spread them out on this towel lined rimmed baking sheet. The towel will wick water away from the beans, which means that our salad won't be soggy. And in the meantime, there's plenty of space for these to cool off. So our croutons look great. I'm gonna make sure they're nice and toasty. I better test it. Yeah. And let's mm -hmm. get them back into that bowl we used earlier. Time to make the dressing. I've got three anchovy fillets here and I'm just going to run a knife through them. They're the key to this dressing and the key to this salad tasting amazing. I wanna make sure that they're really minced. This looks pretty great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to scoop up these anchovies and they'll go into this bowl with one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Next up, I have a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of Worcestershire. These are all very potent ingredients. Right. Three cloves of garlic that have been minced, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Last up, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to whisk, and you'll notice there's no egg in this dressing. I did notice that, because a classic Caesar dressing usually starts with a raw egg or a raw egg yolk. That classic dressing is also really thick and really creamy and it sort of coats everything. Mm -hmm. And I want the green beans to kind of come through. So this is going to be a little lighter, looser dressing. Oh, nice. This dressing, however, does have the extra virgin olive oil. I've got three tablespoons and I'm just going to whisk as I drizzle it in. This looks great. Mm. Going to add this to our bowl of croutons and then our green beans. Last element, the cheese. I have Parmesan here, and I'm going to use about two ounces of Parmesan, but instead of grating the cheese, I'm going to shave it. I like these shards. They have a beautiful shape that complements the long, slender beans. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use about one ounce into the green beans right now. If I were to add it all now and toss it, I would break up some of those beautiful mm -hmm. shards, but I do want to make sure some of that cheese gets a nice coating. Um, it's two ounces of cheese for this salad, one right now, one on top. And this sounds great, right? You can hear the texture in the bowl, the clinking of the croutons. Right. 
and more cheese for the top. A little garnish. Right. A little well, cheese halo on top. Maybe not a little. <laughs> <laughs> right? You can't have too much parm. That's my style right there. Gorgeous. I mean, this really elevates green beans from Tuesday night status. Yeah. You ready to try this? Of course. Doesn't that look good? I love how the dressing doesn't have any yolks. Yeah. It's more of a vinaigrette. The green beans taste sweeter because of that savory dressing. You get all those flavors without mm -hmm. that heavy, heavy texture. And you're right, the green beans taste sweeter because of it. And I know the croutons are good because I've already tried it, but now with the dressing. <laughs> They're still nice and crisp, mm -hmm. tiny bit of chew to them. Perfect. To make these company-worthy green beans, start by giving the beans a quick boil in salted water, then drain them and spread them out over a towel-lined baking sheet to cool. Whisk the dressing together by hand using potent ingredients, including anchovies, Dijon, and raw garlic. Finally, garnish the salad with shaved Parmesan and homemade croutons. From Cook's Country, an easy but show-stopping recipe for Caesar green bean salad. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>